In this Mac tutorial, I'm going to show you how to airdrop. There's a few things you need to know when airdropping or sharing files. First is that whether it's another Mac or your iPhone or some other Apple device that you're airdropping to, both of those need to either be in each other's contacts or have um, everyone enabled under the discovered setting for airdrop. To get to this airdrop window right here, what we need to do is if you don't see it in your sidebar here in Finder, make sure that first off you actually see your sidebar. So you can go to the view drop down, down to the sidebar. And then we need to be able to see airdrop. So we go to Finder settings and we make sure that airdrop is checkmarked in our favorites. Once we have that, we're able to get to this screen right here. Now, right here at the bottom of this is allow to be discovered by no one contacts only or everyone. If we click everyone, that literally means everyone. That's usually the easiest to use. So we can select everyone. Now, on whatever the other device is, you're going to need to make sure it's in your contacts or on that device, you also make the same setting that you're allowed to be discovered by everyone. On iPhone in particular, it only allows you to open that up for 10 minutes, but that's kind of a safety feature. Once you have that, there's two ways to airdrop. First, you could have a file, a folder, an image, something like that and you can have this airdrop window opened in a new finder window. And once you see who you want to airdrop to, you can actually just click and drag the file to that person's name and let go. And then you'll airdrop it to that person. Generally, they will have to accept it unless they're in your contacts and it'll just like go right through. Now, the other way that you can actually do this is not to have the airdrop window open at all. You just right click on any file that you want to uh, airdrop to. And then from there, you can actually go down to share. And inside the share drop down, we see airdrop. So we can click on airdrop and it's going to then allow you to airdrop to this list of people. So if there's other phones in here or other people around, you just find the person that you want and you click on their name. And so that does the same thing. So either click to drag to this window or what I do most of the time is just right click, go to share, airdrop, and then click on generally it's my own phone's name or own computer's name. That's how you can airdrop to and from your Mac computer.